it's really hard to explain to people what AMD is like. It was in the year 2000, I'd noticed the television was going wavy. I felt like I was wearing glasses with a raindrop blob and the line on the computer was going all weird. They looked at my eye and he just looked at me and he said, this is very serious. I realised that I couldn't see anything out of that eye, nothing. They did several checks and then they said, there's nothing more now that we can do for that eye. I was really worried thinking, oh my gosh, what if I wake up the next morning and I'm blind, it can happen with AMD. In the United Kingdom alone, nearly 200 people develop the blinding forms of macular degeneration every single day. Experts recommend that patients who are suspected of having sight-threatening retinal diseases such as age-related macular degeneration are seen and treated within two weeks of the onset of their symptoms. Unfortunately, this target is often not met because hospitalized services in the UK and around the world receive too many referrals and they struggle to deal with and to treat these patients within a two-week time frame. That's why we've been working with DeepMind for the last 18 months to explore how artificial intelligence can deal with this challenge. We're delighted now that we have the first results from this collaboration between Morefields and DeepMind. DeepMind have developed an algorithm which can look at an OCT and identify a wide range of eye diseases, such as macular degeneration and diabetic eye disease, but also a range of other conditions. And what's really exciting is that when it does this, it can match the performance of an expert doctor. Another exciting feature is that it doesn't just give a suggested course of action, it also gives the eye care professional an insight into why it's made the decision that it's given. This is important because it allows specialists to scrutinize the recommendations and support their diagnosis. This is a huge development because it overcomes a lot of the significant barriers to the implementation of artificial intelligence in the real world. In the future, I could envisage a scenario where a person could just go into their local high street optician and have an OCT scan done, and this algorithm would identify those patients with sight-threatening disease at the very earliest stage of their condition. That can take us one step closer to preventing avoidable sight loss. Where I didn't have this AI and all this knowledge when I was first diagnosed, these people are going to have it. There'll be hope for those people right away.